Hello all! This is going to be number three installment in my 10 guns in 10 days challenge and uh, it's a little tiny one. <laughs> um, never had this one out. Uh, never never showed this one before. So uh, this is all new for the, the channel. This is um, probably one of the most ridiculous little guns that I have. Um, Gillespie in 25 auto and uh, let me let me zoom her in here for you just a second so uh, this little 25 auto is uh, it's actually with one of my dad's guns and I don't know that he really ever carried it I mean maybe he did but uh, it's uh, I mean it's a nicely built it's the the bluing on it is is really nice it was a little Italian uh, import and uh, these are you know one of those ones that they they didn't like so much that they started uh, you know passing the laws about. It's a uh, you know very tiny, very concealable. It does actually have a uh, a safety catch, and that safety catch does block the slide and the trigger. Uh, it has a little heel release magazine, six round magazine, and yes, by the way, this uh, this little guy is completely clear. There's uh, there's no means of any hold open on it, so it's just what it is. And uh, 25 ACP is really, really small. Uh, you can get six of those rounds in uh, in the magazine. You could put one more in the chamber if you wanted to. And uh, you know, if you want a little a little size comparison, <clears throat> there's a 22 LR. I think that's a, a Stinger which is just a little tiny bit you know, bigger, but not, not by much. And uh, there is a 9mm compared to the, the 25 ACP. So they are tiny. And uh, <clears throat> I don't know that they're all that much more reliable than a 22 LR, uh, even though they are a center fire. And uh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> Small pistol primer takes up almost the entire base. But... Uh, I wouldn't want to be shot with any of them. Uh, I know that would uh, certainly not bounce off. It would uh, would definitely do some damage. And uh, I mean, these are uh, you know neat little guns. You can still find them around here and there. The ammunition is not impossible to find, but uh, not not everywhere, and it's getting a little bit more expensive. So uh, this is not something that I carry. It's just something that I I keep. You know, memories one of my dad's guns. And uh, it's kind of unfortunate it's missing its little emblems from, from both sides. But uh, it's just a neat little piece. And uh, if I get a chance to run down to the range, and I, I might because I have some things I want to test, uh, maybe I'll run a few rounds through it and I'll, uh, I'll get that on film. But uh, otherwise, just thought I'd share that one with you. Thanks for watching. All right, we're going to give this uh, little... Gillespie a try. Now, I'm not going to make any pretenses that this is anything but an up-close and personal gun, so I'm at like four and a half yards, and uh, we'll just see if it'll even cycle, run a full magazine, and eh, let's, let's see what she does. Safety off. Well, failure to feed. I don't think I'd want to depend on this one. <laughs> Alright, I brought it up to max capacity on this uh, round. Got one in the pipe, six in the magazine. Let's see if it'll run all seven of them. And uh, I'm aiming at the top dot. I've got the first six rounds fairly low. I'm going to try to hold a little bit better. Misfed the last round. Oh, <laughs> almost. Let's see if it's just something about that last round. All right. 
That's 13. That's unlucky. I got to do another magazine. Oh, I just made a discovery. It actually holds seven in the magazine, not six. So I got a whopping eight rounds. And uh, we're going to see if we can run these just super quick, fast as I can unload it. And uh, well, we'll see what it does. Ah, last round. Again. Doesn't like that last round. All right. There she is. <laughs> Gillespie 25 Auto. Uh, yeah, it'll just stay in the safe. It'll be fine.